Facebook is an online social media and social networking service owned by American technology giant Meta Platforms. Created in 2004 by Mark Zuckerberg with fellow Harvard College students and roommates Eduardo Sadron, Andrew McCollum, Dustin Moskovitz, and Chris Hewitt, its name derives from the Facebook directories often given to American university students. Membership was initially limited to only Harvard students, gradually expanding to other North American universities and, since 2006, anyone over 13 years old. As of December 2022, Facebook claimed 2.96 billion monthly active users 6 and ranked third worldwide among the most visited websites. 7 It was the most downloaded mobile app of the 2010s. 8 Facebook can be accessed from devices with internet connectivity, such as personal computers, tablets and smartphones. After registering, users can create a profile revealing information about themselves. They can post text photos and multimedia which are shared with any other users who have agreed to be their friend or with different privacy settings publicly. Users can also communicate directly with each other with Messenger, join common interest groups, and receive notifications on the activities of their Facebook friends and the pages they follow. The subject of numerous controversies, Facebook has often been criticized over issues such as user privacy as with the Cambridge Analytica data scandal political manipulation as with the 2016 U.S. elections and mass surveillance. 9 Facebook has also been subject to criticism over psychological effects such as addiction and low self-esteem, and various controversies over content such as fake news, conspiracy theories, copyright infringement, and hate speech. 10 commentators have accused Facebook of willingly facilitating the spread of such content, as well as exaggerating its number of users to appeal to advertisers. 11 History Further Information History of Facebook 2003 2006 See Facebook, Feel Investment, and Name Change Original Layout and Name of See Facebook in 2004, showing all to see no face superimposed with binary numbers as Facebook's original logo. Designed by co-founder Andrew McCollum 12 Zuckerberg built a website called Face Smash in 2003 while attending Harvard University. The site was comparable to Hot or Not and used photos compiled from the online Facebooks of night houses, placing two next to each other at a time and asking users to choose the hotter person. 13 Face Smash attracted 450 visitors and 22,000 photo views in its first four hours. 14 The site was sent to several campus group lists served but was shut down a few days later by Harvard administration. Zuckerberg faced expulsion and was charged with breaching security, violating copyrights and violating individual privacy. Ultimately, the charges were dropped. 13 Zuckerberg expanded on this project that semester by creating a social study tool. He uploaded art images, each accompanied by a comments section to a website he shared with his classmates. 15 A Facebook is a student directory featuring photos and personal information. 14 In 2003, Harvard had only a paper version 16 along with private online directories. 13 17 Zuckerberg told the Harvard Crimson, everyone's been talking a lot about a universal Facebook within Harvard. I think it's kind of silly that it would take the university a couple of years to get around to it. I can't do it better than they can. And I can't do it in a week. 17 in January 2004, Zuckerberg coded a new website, known as the Facebook inspired by a Crimson editorial about Face Smash, stating, It is clear that the technology needed to create a centralized website is readily available. The benefits are many. Zuckerberg met with Harvard student Eduardo Sadron and each of them agreed to invest $1,000 $1,549 in 2022 18 in the site. 19 On February 4, 2004, Zuckerberg launched the Facebook originally located at cfacebook.com. 20 Mark Zuckerberg, co-creator of Facebook, in his Harvard dorm room, 2005 six days after the site launched, Harvard. Senior Cameron Winklevoss, Tyler Winklevoss, and the Vietnam Army accused Zuckerberg of intentionally misleading them into believing that he would help them build a social network called HarvardConnection.com. They claimed that he was instead using their ideas to build a competing product. 21 The three complaint to the Crimson and the newspaper began an investigation. They later sued Zuckerberg, settling in 2008 22 for 1.2 million shares worth $300 million $382 million in 2022 18 at Facebook's IPO. 23 membership was initially restricted to students of Harvard College. 
Within a month, more than half the undergraduates had registered. 24 Dust in Moskowitz, Andrew McCollum, and Chris Hughes joined Zuckerberg to help manage the growth of the website. 25 In March 2004, Facebook expanded to Columbia, Stanford, and Yale. 26 It then became available to all Ivy League colleges, Boston University, NYU, and IT and successively most universities in the United States and Canada. 2728 In mid-2004, Napster co-founder and entrepreneur Sean Parker, an informal advisor to Zuckerberg, became company president. 29 In June 2004, the company moved to Palo Alto, California. 30 It received its first investment later that month from PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel. 31 In 2005, Company dropped from its name after purchasing the domain name Facebook.com for $200,000 $299,676 in 2022 $18.32 The domain had belonged to About Face Corporation. In May 2005, Excel Partners invested $12.7 million $19 million in 2022 18 in Facebook. And Jim Breyer 33 added $1 million, $1.5 million in 2022 dollars, 18 of his own money. A high school version of the site launched in September 2005.34 eligibility expanded to include employees of several companies, including Apple Incorporated and Microsoft.35 2006 to 2012, Public Access, Microsoft Alliance, and rapid growth in May 2006, Facebook hired its first intern. Julie Zuo.36 After a month, Zuo was hired as a full-time engineer.36 On September 26, 2006, Facebook opened to everyone at least 13 years old with a valid email address.373839 By late 2007, Facebook had 100,000 pages on which companies promoted themselves.40 Organization pages began rolling out in May 2009.41 On October 24, 2007, Microsoft announced that it had purchased the 1.6% share of Facebook for $240 million $339 million in 2022 18 giving Facebook a total implied value of around $15 billion $21.2 billion in 2022 18 Microsoft's purchase included rights to place international advertisements.42 43 in May 2007 at the first S8 developers conference Facebook announced the launch of the Facebook Developer Platform, providing a framework for software developers to create applications that interact with core Facebook features. By the second annual S8 Developers Conference on July 23, 2008, the number of applications on the platform had grown to 33,000 and the number of registered developers had exceeded 400.000.44. The website won awards such as placement into the top 100 classic websites by PC Magazine in 2007-45 and winning the People's Voice Award from the Webby Awards in 2008.46. In early 2008, Facebook became EBITDA profitable but was not cash flow positive yet. 47 On July 20, 2008, Facebook introduced Facebook Beta, the significant redesign of its user interface on selected networks. The mini feeds and wall were consolidated, profiles were separated into tabbed sections, and an effort was made to create a cleaner look. 48 Facebook began migrating users to the new version in September 2008. 49 In July 2008, Facebook sued students the German social network that was alleged to be visually and functionally similar to Facebook.5051 In October 2008, Facebook announced that its international headquarters would locate in Dublin, Ireland.52 The January 2009 Compete.com study ranked Facebook the most used social networking service by worldwide monthly active users.53 Better source needed China blocked Facebook in 2009 following the early MP riots.54 In 2009, Yuri Milner's DSP which later split into DSP Global and Mail. Rupinium Group alongside with Beth Russian Metals Magnate Alicia of Snanos invested $200 million in Facebook when it was valued at $10 billion. A separate stake was also acquired by Upsmanos U.S. Mail Holdings on another occasion. 5855 According to the New York Times in 2013, Mr. Upsmanos and other Russian investors at one point owned nearly 10% of Facebook.
though precise details of their ownership stakes are difficult to assess. 58 It was later revealed in 2017 by the Paradise Papers that lending by Russian state backed VDB Bank and Gazprom's investment vehicle partially financed these 2009 investment. Although Milner was reportedly unaware at the time. 5960 In May 2009, Zuckerberg said of the $200 million Russian investment, this investment is purely buffer for us. It is not something we needed to get to cash flow positive. 61 In September 2009, Facebook became cash flow positive ahead of schedule 60 to 63 after closing the roughly $200 million gap in operating profitability. 63 In 2010, Facebook won the crunchy best overall startup or product award 64 for the third year in a row. 65 The company announced 500 million users in July 2010. 66 Half of the site's membership used Facebook daily for an average of 34 minutes, while 150 million users accessed the site from mobile devices. A company representative called a milestone a quiet revolution. 67 in October 2010 groups were introduced. 68 in November 2010, based on Second Market Incorporated and Exchange for privately held company shares, Facebook's value was $41 billion, $55 billion in 2022 dollars 18. The company had slightly surpassed eBay to become the third largest American web company after Google and Amazon.com. 6970 On November 15, 2010, Facebook announced it had acquired the domain name SB.com from the American Farm Bureau Federation for an undisclosed amount. On January 11, 2011, the Farm Bureau disclosed $8.5 million $11.1 million in $2022-18 in domain sales income making the acquisition of FB.com one of the 10 highest domain sales in history. 71 In February 2011, Facebook announced plans to move its headquarters to the former Sun Microsystems campus in Menlo Park, California. 70-73 In March 2011, it was reported that Facebook was removing about 20,000 profiles daily for violations such as spam, graphic content and underage views, as part of its efforts to boost cybersecurity. 74 statistics showed that Facebook reached 1 trillion page views in the month of June 2011, making it the most visited website tracked by DoubleClick.7576 according to a Nielsen study. Facebook had in 2011 become the second most accessed website in the U.S. behind Google. 77 78 2012 to 2013, IPO, lawsuits, and 1 billion active users. Further information, initial public offering of Facebook in March 2012, Facebook announced APP Center, the store selling applications that operate via the website. The store was to be available on a Phoenix, Android devices and for mobile web users. 79 Billboard on the Thomson Reuters building welcomes Facebook to Nasdaq. May 2012 Facebook's initial public offering came on May 17, 2012, at a share price of $38.48 .48 in 2022 18. The company was valued at $104 billion, $133 billion in 2022 18, the largest valuation to that date. 8081 82 The IPO raised $16 billion, $20.4 billion in 2022 18, the third largest in U.S. history, after Visa Incorporated in 2008 and AT&T Wireless in 2000. 83 84 Based on its 2012 income of $5 billion, $6.37 billion in 2022 18, Facebook joined the Fortune 500 list for the first time in May 2013. Ranked 462.85 The shares set a first day record for trading volume of an IPO 460 million shares.86 The IPO was controversial given the immediate price decline that followed 87, 88, 89, 90 and was the subject of lawsuits 91 while SEC and FINRA both launched investigations.90 to Zuckerberg announced at the start of October 2012 that Facebook had 1 billion monthly active users 93 including 600 million mobile users. 219 billion photo uploads and 140 billion friend connections. 94 On October 1, 2012, Zuckerberg visited Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev in Moscow to stimulate social media innovation in Russia and to boost Facebook's position in the Russian market. 95 96 2013 2014, site developments, day for AI, and 10th anniversary. On January 15, 2013, Facebook announced Facebook Graph Search. 
which provide users with a precise answer rather than a link to an answer by leveraging data present on its site. 97 Facebook emphasized that the feature would be privacy aware, returning results only from content already shared with the user. 98 On April 3, 2013, Facebook unveiled Facebook Home, the user interface layer for Android devices offering greater integration with the site. HTC announced HTC first. The phone with home preloaded. 99 on April 15, 2013, Facebook announced an alliance across 19 states with the National Association of Attorneys General to provide teenagers and parents with information on tools to manage social networking profiles. 100 on April 19, Facebook modified its logo to remove the faint blue line at the bottom of the X icon. The letter F moved closer to the edge of the box. 101 following a campaign by 100 advocacy groups. Facebook agreed to update its policy on hate speech. The campaign highlighted content promoting domestic violence and sexual violence against women and led 15 advertisers to withdraw, including Nissan UK, House of Burlesque, and Nationwide UK. The company initially stated, while it may be vulgar and offensive, distasteful content on its own does not violate our policies. 102 It took action on May 29.103 on June 12th. Facebook announced that it was introducing clickable hashtags to help users follow trending discussions, or search what others are talking about on a topic. 100 for San Mateo County, California, became the top wage earning county in the country after the fourth quarter of 2012 because of Facebook. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that the average salary was 107% higher than the previous year. At $168,000 a year, $214,146 in 2022, 18, more than 50% higher than the next highest county, New York County, better known as Manhattan, at roughly $110,000 a year, $140,215 in 2022, 18. 105 Facebook joined Alliance for Affordable Internet A4 AI in October as it launched. The A4 AI is a coalition of public and private organizations that includes Google, Intel and Microsoft. Led by Sir Tim Berners-Lee, the A4 AI seeks to make Internet access more affordable to ease access in the developing world. 106 The company celebrated its 10th anniversary during the week of February 3, 2014. 107 In January 2014, over 1 billion users connected via a mobile device. 108 As of June, mobile accounted for 62% of advertising revenues, an increase of 21% from the previous year. 109 By September Facebook's market capitalization had exceeded $200 billion, $247 billion in 2022. 18. 110, 111, 112 Zuckerberg participated in a Q&A session at Tsinghua University in Beijing, China, on October 23rd, where he attempted to converse in Mandarin. Zuckerberg hosted visiting Chinese politician Qi Xiamwei, known as the Internet Czar for his influence in China's online policy, on December 8, 113, 114, 115, 2015 to 2020, algorithm revision, fake news as of 2015, Facebook's algorithm was revised in an attempt to filter out false or misleading content, such as fake news stories and hoaxes. It relied on users who flag the story accordingly. Facebook maintained that satirical content should not be intercepted. 116 The algorithm was accused of maintaining a filter bubble where material the user disagrees with 117 and posts with few likes would be deprioritized. 118 In November, Facebook extended paternity leave from four weeks to four months. 119 On April 12, 2016, Zuckerberg outlined his 10 year vision, which rested on three main pillars artificial intelligence increased global connectivity, and virtual and augmented reality. 120 In July, the $1 billion suit was filed against the company alleging that it permitted Hamas to use it to perform assaults that cost the lives of four people. 121 Facebook released its blueprints of around 360 camera on GitHub under an open source license. 122 In September, it won an Emmy for its animated short Henry. 123 In October, Facebook announced a fee-based communications tool called Workplace that aims to connect everyone at work. Users can create profiles, see updates from co-workers on their news feed, 
stream live videos and participate in secure group chats. 124 Following the 2016 U.S. presidential election, Facebook announced that it would combat fake news by using fact checkers from sites like factcheck.org and Associated Press AP making reporting hoaxes easier through crowd dorking and disrupting financial incentives for abusers. 125 Oculus VR headset 126 on January 17, 2017. Facebook coup Sheryl Sandberg plans to open Station F, the startup incubator campus in Paris, France. 127 on a six-month cycle. Facebook committed to work with 10 to 15 data-driven startups. 128 on April 18, Facebook announced the beta launch of Facebook Spaces at its annual F8 Developer Conference. 129 Facebook Spaces is a virtual reality version of Facebook for Oculus VR goggles. In a virtual and shared space, users can access a curate selection of 360-degree photos and videos using their avatar, with the support of the controller. Users can access their own photos and videos, along with media shared on their new feed. 130 in September. Facebook announced it would spend up to $1 billion on original shows for its Facebook Watch platform. 131 on October 16, it acquired the anonymous complement APPTBH, announcing its intention to leave the APT. Independent. 132 133 134 135 in October 2017, Facebook expanded its work with the Finer's Public Affairs a PR firm that had originally been hired to monitor press coverage of the company to address concerns primarily regarding Russian meddling, then mishandling of user data by Cambridge Analytica, hate speech on Facebook, and calls for regulation. 136. Company spokesman Tim Miller stated that a goal for tech firms should be to have positive content pushed out about your company and negative content that's being pushed out about your competitor. Definers claimed that George Forrest was the force behind what appeared to be a broad anti-Facebook movement, and created other negative media, along with America Rising, that was picked up by larger media organizations like Breitbart News. 136 137 Facebook cut ties with the agency in late 2018, following the public outcry over their association. 138 posts originating from the Facebook page of Breitbart News. The media organization previously affiliated with Cambridge Analytica 139 are currently win. Among the most widely shared political content on Facebook. 140, 141, 142, 143, 144 excessive citations in May 2018 that hate, the company announced it would offer its own dating service. Shares in competitor match group fell by 22%.145 Facebook dating includes privacy features and friends are unable to view their friends dating profile.146 In July, Facebook was charged £500,000 by UK watchdogs for failing to respond to data erasure requests.147 On July 18, Facebook established a subsidiary named Lianzhu Science and Technology in Hangzhou City, China. With $30 million, $35 million in 2022 dollars, 18 of capital. All its shares are held by Facebook Hung Da 148 approval of the registration of the subsidiary was then withdrawn, due to a disagreement between officials in Zhejiang Province and the Cyberspace Administration of China. 149 on July 26. Facebook became the first company to lose over $100 billion, $117 billion in 2022 dollars, 18 worth of market capitalization in one day, dropping from nearly $630 billion to $510 billion after disappointing sales reports. 150 151 on July 31, Facebook said that the company had deleted 17 accounts related to the 2018 U.S. midterm elections. On September 19, Facebook announced that, for news distribution outside the United States, it would work with U.S.-funded democracy promotion organizations. International Republican Institute and the National Democratic Institute, which are loosely affiliated with the Republican and Democratic parties. 152 through the Digital Forensic Research Lab Facebook partners with the Atlantic Council, the NATO affiliated think tank. 152 in November, Facebook launched Smart Display Branded Portal and Portal Plus Portal Plus. They support Amazon Alex Intelligent Personal Assistant Service. The devices include video chat function with Facebook Messenger. 153 154 in August 2018. A lawsuit was filed in Auckland, 
California claiming that Facebook created fake accounts in order to inflate its user data and appeal to advertisers in the process. 11 Aerial View of Meta HQ in Menlo Park, California in January 2019. The 10 year challenge was started 155 asking users to post a photograph of themselves from 10 years ago 2009 and a more recent photo. 156 criticized for its role in vaccine hesitancy. Facebook announced in March 2019 that it would provide users with authoritative information on the topic of vaccines. 157 The study published in the journal Vaccines of Advertisements posted in the three months prior to that found that 54% of the anti-vaccine advertisements on Facebook were placed by just two organizations funded by well-known anti-vaccination activists. 158-159 The Children's Health Defense Slash World Mercury Project chaired by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Stop Mandatory Vaccination, run by campaigner Larry Cook, posted 54% of the advertisements. The ads often linked to commercial products, such as natural remedies and books. On March 14, the Huffington Post reported that Facebook's PR agency had paid someone to tweet Facebook who Sheryl Sandberg's Wikipedia page, as well as adding a page for the global head of PR, Karen Maroon. 160 in March 2019. The perpetrator of the Christchurch mosque shootings in New Zealand used Facebook to stream live footage of the attack as it unfolded. Facebook took 29 minutes to detect the live streamed video, which was 8 minutes longer than it took police to arrest the gunman. About 1.3m copies of the video were blocked from Facebook but 300,000 copies were published and shared. Facebook has promised changes to its platform. Spokesman Simon Diller told Radio New Zealand that it could have done a better job. Several companies, including the ANZ and ASB banks, have stopped advertising on Facebook after the company was widely condemned by the public. 161 Following the attack, Facebook began blocking white nationalist, white supremacist, and white separatist content, saying that they could not be meaningfully separated. Previously, Facebook had only blocked overly supremacist content. The older policy had been condemned by civil rights groups, who described these movements as functionally indistinct. 162 163 further bans were made in mid April 2019, banning several British far right organizations and associated individuals from Facebook, and also banning praise or support for them. 164 165 NTJ member Mulay Vizarin Hashem, a radical Islamist. Imam believed to be the mastermind behind the 2019 Sri Lanka Easter bombings, preached on a pro-ISIL Facebook account, known as all Grog Media. 166-167 Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook executive with President Donald Trump in September 2019 on May 2, 2019, at F8, the company announced its new vision with the tagline, the future is private. 168 The redesign of the website and mobile app EP was introduced. As FB5.169, the event also featured plans for improving Groups 170, a dating platform 171, and to end encryption on its platforms 172, and allowing users on Messenger to communicate directly with WhatsApp and Instagram users. 173 174 On July 31, 2019, Facebook announced a partnership with University of California, San Francisco to build a non-invasive, wearable device that lets people type by simply imagining themselves talking. 175 On August 13, 2019, it was revealed that Facebook had enlisted hundreds of contractors to create and obtain transcripts of the audio messages of users. 176 177 178 This was especially common to Facebook Messenger where the contractors frequently listened to and transcribed voice messages of users. 178 After this was first reported on by Bloomberg News, Facebook released a statement confirming the report to be true 177 but also stated that the monitoring program was now suspended. 177 On September 5, 2019, Facebook launched Facebook Dating in the United States. This new application allows users to integrate their Instagram posts in their dating profile. 179 Facebook News, which features selected stories from news organizations, was launched on October 25.180 Facebook's decision to include our right to website Breitbart News as a trusted source was negatively received. 181 182 on November 17, 2019, the banking data for
29,000 Facebook employees was stolen from a payroll worker's car. The data was stored on an encrypted hard drive and included bank account numbers, employee names, the last four digits of their social security numbers, salaries, bonuses, and equity details. The company didn't realize the hard drives were missing until November 28. Facebook confirmed that the drives contained employee information on November 29. Employees weren't notified of the break-in until December 13, 2019. 183 on March 10, 2020, Facebook appointed two new directors Tracy Travis and Nancy Kieletfer to their board of members. 184 in June 2020, several major companies including Adidas, Cavite, Coca-Cola, Ford, HP, Intercontinental Hotels Group, Mars, Starbucks, Target, and Unilever, announced they would pause adverts on Facebook for July in support of the Stop Hate for Profit campaign which claimed the company was not doing enough to remove hateful content. 185 The BBC noted that this was unlikely to affect the company as most of Facebook's advertising revenue comes from small to medium-sized businesses. 186 On August 14, 2020, Facebook started integrating the direct messaging service of Instagram with its own messenger for both iOS and Android devices. After the update, an update screen is said to pop up on Instagram's mobile app with the following message. There's a new way to message on Instagram with a list of additional features. As part of the update, the regular DM icon on the top right corner of Instagram will be replaced by the Facebook Messenger logo. 187 on September 15, 2020. Facebook launched a Climate Science Information Center to promote authoritative voices on climate change and provide access of factual and up-to-date information on climate science. It featured facts, figures and data from organizations, including the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC Met Office, Sun Environment Program UNDP National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA and World Meteorological Organization WMO with relevant news posts. 188 After the 2020 U.S. presidential election, Facebook temporarily increased the weight of ecosystem quality in its news feed algorithm. 189 2020 Present FTC lawsuit, corporate rebranding, shutdown of facial recognition technology, ease of policy. See also 2021 Facebook Lick and Francis Haugen's Facebook was sued by the Federal Trade Commission as well as a coalition of several states for illegal monopolization and antitrust. The FTC and states fought the courts to force Facebook to sell its subsidiaries WhatsApp and Instagram. 191191 The suits were dismissed by a federal judge on June 28, 2021 who stated that there was not enough evidence brought in the suit to determine Facebook to be a monopoly at this point though allowed the FTC to amend its case to include additional evidence. 192 in its amended filings in August 2021, the FTC asserted that Facebook had been a monopoly in the area of personal social networks since 2011, distinguishing Facebook's activities from social media services like TikTok that broadcast content without necessarily limiting that message to intended recipients. 193 in response to the proposed bill in the Australian Parliament for a new media bargaining code, on February 17, 2021, Facebook blocked Australian users from sharing or viewing news content on its platform, as well as pages of some government, community, union, charity, political, and emergency services. 194 The Australian government strongly criticized the move saying it demonstrated the immense market power of these digital social giants. 195 On February 22, Facebook said it reached an agreement with the Australian government that would see news returning to Australian users in the coming days. As part of this agreement, Facebook and Google can avoid the news media bargaining code adopted on February 25 if they reach a commercial bargain with a news business outside the code. 196 197 198 Facebook has been accused of removing and shadow banning content that spoke either in favor of protecting Indian farmers or against Narendra Modi's government. 199 200 201 India based employees of Facebook are at risk of arrest. 202 On February 27, 2021, Facebook announced Facebook Bar PPP for rappers. 203 On June 29, 2021, Facebook announced Bulletin, a platform for independent writers. 200 for 205 Unlike competitors such as Substack, Facebook would not take a cut of subscription fees of 
writers using that platform upon its launch, like Malcolm Gladwell and Mitch Albom. According to the Washington Post technology writer Will Ormuz, the move was criticized by those who viewed it as a tactic intended by Facebook to force those competitors out of business. 206 In October 2021, owner Facebook, Inc. changed its company name to Meta Platforms, Inc., or simply Meta as it shifts its focus to building the Metaverse. This change does not affect the name of the Facebook social networking service itself, instead being similar to the creation of Alphabet as Google's parent company in 2015.207. In November 2021, Facebook stated it would stop targeting ads based on data related to health, race, ethnicity, political beliefs, religion and sexual orientation. The change will occur in January and will affect all apps owned by Meta Platforms. 208 In February 2022, Facebook's daily active users dropped for the first time in its 18 year history. According to Facebook's parent Meta, DOS dropped to 1.929 billion in the three months ending in December, down from 1.930 billion the previous quarter. Furthermore, the company warned that revenue growth would slow due to competition from TikTok and YouTube as well as advertisers cutting back on spending. 209 On March 10, 2022, Facebook announced that it will temporarily ease rules to allow violent speech against Russian invaders. 210 Russia then banned all meta services, including Instagram. 211 In September 2022, Jonathan Vanian, a technology reporter for CNBC, wrote a piece on CNBC.com about the recent struggles Facebook was experiencing. Writing users are jumping ship and advertisers are reducing their spending, leaving Meta poised to report its second straight drop in quarterly revenue. He also cited poor leadership decisions devoting resources to the Metaverse. Writing CEO Mark Zuckerberg spends much of his time proselytizing the Metaverse, which may be the company's future but accounts for virtually none of its near-term revenue and is costing billions of dollars a year to build. He also detailed accounts from analysts predicting a death spiral for Facebook stock as users leave, AD impressions increase, and the company chases revenue. 212 October 4, 2021, Global Service Outage Main Article, 2021 Facebook Outage On October 4, 2021, Facebook had its worst outage since 2008. The outage was global in scope, and took down all Facebook properties, including Instagram and WhatsApp. From approximately 1539 UDC to 2205 UDC, and affected roughly 3 billion users. 213, 214, 215 security experts identified the problem as a BGP withdrawal of all of the IP routes to their domain name DNS servers, which were all self hosted at the time. 216, 217 The outage also affected all internal communication systems used by Facebook employees which disrupted restoration efforts. 217 shut down a facial recognition on November 2, 2021. Facebook announced it would shut down its facial recognition technology and delete the data on over a billion users. 218 Meta later announced plans to implement the technology as well as other biometric systems in its future products, such as the Metaverse. 219 The shutdown of the technology will reportedly also stop Facebook's automated alt text system used to transcribe media on the platform for visually impaired users. 219 In February 2023, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg announced that Meta would start selling blue verified badges on Instagram and Facebook. 220 Website Further Information List of Facebook features and Facebook platform profile shown on the Facebook in 2005 Previous Facebook logo in use from August 23, 2005 until July 1, 2015 Technical aspects This section's factual accuracy may be compromised due to out-of-date information. The reason given is Facebook no longer uses hip-hop for PHP. Please help update this article to reflect recent events or newly available information. August 2020 The website's primary color is blue as Zuckerberg is red-green colorblind. A realization that occurred after a test undertaken around 2007.221-220 to Facebook is built in PHP, compiled with hip-hop for PHP, a source code transformer built by Facebook engineers that turns PHP into C++.223 The deployment of hip-hop 
reportedly reduced average CPU consumption on Facebook servers by 50%. 224 2012 Architecture Facebook is developed as one monolithic application. According to an interview in 2012 with Facebook build engineer Chuck Rossi, Facebook compiles into a 1.5 GB binary blob which is then distributed to the servers using a custom BitTorrent-based release system. Rossi stated that it takes about 15 minutes to build and 15 minutes to release to the servers. The build and release process has zero downtime. Changes to Facebook are rolled out daily. 224 Facebook used a combination platform based on HBase to store data across distributed machines. Using the tailing architecture, events are stored in log files, and the logs are tailed. The system rolls these events up and writes them to storage. The user interface then pulls the data out and displays it to users. Facebook handles requests as a JAX behavior. These requests are written to a log file using Scribe developed by Facebook. 225 data is read from these log files using Ptail, an internally built tool to aggregate data from multiple Scribe stores. It tails the log files and pulls data out. Ptail data are separated into three streams and sent to clusters in different data centers push in impression, news feed impressions, actions push in plus news feed. Puma is used to manage periods of high data flow input slash output or aisle. Data is processed in batches to lessen the number of times needed to read and write under high demand periods. The hot article generates many impressions and news feed impressions that cause huge data skews. Batches are taken every 1.5 seconds, limited by memory used when creating the hash table. 225 data is then output in PHP format. The backend is written in Java. Thrift is used as the messaging format so PHP programs can query Java services. Caching solutions display pages more quickly. The data is then sent to the produced server where it is queried via Hive. This serves as a backup as the data can be recovered from high.225 content delivery network CDN Facebook uses its own content delivery network or edge network under the domain fbcdn.net for serving static data.226-227 until the mid-2010s. Facebook also relied on a commodity for CDN services.228-229-230 had programming language. On March 28, 2014, Facebook announced the new open-source programming language called HAT. Before public release, a large portion of Facebook was already running and battle-tested using the new language. 231 user profile slash personal timeline Facebook login slash sign up screen Each registered user on Facebook has a personal profile that shows their posts and content. 232 The format of individual user pages was revamped in September 2011 and Became known as Timeline, a chronological feed of a user's stories 233-234 including status updates, photos, interactions with apps and events. 235 The layout let users add a cover photo. 235 users were given more privacy settings. 235 In 2007, Facebook launched Facebook pages for brands and celebrities to interact with their fan bases. 236-237-100,000 Pages further explanation needed launched in November. 238 in June 2009. Facebook introduced a user names feature, allowing users to choose a unique then name used in the URL for their personal profile. For easier sharing. 239 240 in February 2014, Facebook expanded the gender setting, adding a custom input field that allows users to choose from a wide range of gender identities. Users can also set which set of gender-specific pronouns should be used in reference to them throughout the site. 241, 240 to 243 in May 2014, Facebook introduced a feature to allow users to ask for information not disclosed by other users on their profiles. If a user does not provide key information, such as location, hometown, or relationship status, other users can use the new Ask button to send a message asking about that item to the user in a single click. 244 245 News Feed Further Information News Feed News Feed appears on every user's home page and highlights information including profile changes, 
upcoming events and friends. Birthdays.246 This enabled spammers and other users to manipulate these features by creating illegitimate events or posting fake birthdays to attract attention to their profile or cause.247 Initially, the news feed caused dissatisfaction among Facebook users. Some complained it was too cluttered and full of undesired information. Others were concerned that it made it too easy for others to track individual activities such as relationship status changes, events, and conversations with other users. 248 Zuckerberg apologized for the site's failure to include appropriate privacy features. Users then gained control over what types of information are shared automatically with friends. Users are now able to prevent user set categories of friends from seeing updates about certain types of activities, including profile changes wall posts and newly added friends. 249 On February 23, 2010, Facebook was granted a patent 250 on certain aspects of its news feed. The patent covers news feeds in which links are provided so that one user can participate in the activity of another user. 251 The sorting and display of stories in a user's news feed is governed by the Everent algorithm. 252 The photos application allows users to upload albums and photos. 253 Each album can contain 200 photos. 254 Privacy settings apply to individual albums. Users can't tag or label friends in a photo. The friend receives a notification about the tag with a link to the photo. 255 This photo tagging feature was developed by Aaron Citizen, now a design strategy lead at Facebook, and former Facebook engineer Scott Marr led back in 2006 and was only granted a patent in 2011. 256 257 On June 7, 2012. Facebook launched its AP Peer Center to help users find games and other applications. 258 On May 13, 2015, Facebook in association with major news portals launched instant articles to provide news on the Facebook news feed without leaving the site. 259 260 In January 2017, Facebook launched Facebook Stories for iOS and Android in Ireland. The feature, following the format of Snapchat and Instagram Stories, allows users to upload photos and videos that appear above friends and followers news feeds and disappear after 24 hours. 261 On October 11, 2017, Facebook introduced the 3D Posts feature to allow for uploading interactive 3D assets. 262 On January 11, 2018, Facebook announced that it would change news feeds to prioritize friends slash family content and de-emphasize content from media companies. 263 In February 2020, Facebook announced it would spend $1 billion $1.13 billion in 2022 18 to license news material from publishers for the next three years, a pledge coming as the company falls under scrutiny from governments across the globe over not paying for news content appearing on the platform. The pledge would be in addition to the $600 million, $678 million in 2022 18 paid since 2018 through deals with news companies such as The Guardian and Financial Times. 264, 265, 266 in March and April 2021. In response to Apple announcing changes to its IOS devices identifier for advertisers policy, which included requiring ATP developers to directly request to users the ability to track on an opt-in basis. Facebook purchased full-page newspaper advertisements attempting to convince users to allow tracking, highlighting the effects targeted ads have on small businesses. 267 Facebook's efforts were ultimately unsuccessful, as Apple released file 14.5 in late April 2021 containing the feature for users in what has been deemed APP tracking transparency. Moreover, Statistics from Verizon Communications subsidiary Flurry Analytics showed 96% of all iOS users in the United States are not permitting tracking at all, and only 12% of worldwide iOS users are allowing tracking, with some news outlets deem Facebook's nightmare among similar terms. 268, 269, 270, 271 Despite the news, Facebook has stated, that the new policy and software update would be manageable. 272 like button further information. Facebook like button human billboard advertising Facebook camera in the city page at the National Multicultural Festival. The like button, stylized as a thumbs up icon, was first enabled on February 9, 2009. 273 and enables users to easily interact with status updates, comments, 
photos and videos, links shared by friends, and advertisements. Once clicked by a user, the designated content is more likely to appear in friends news feeds. 274 275 The button displays the number of other users who have liked the content. 276 The like button was extended to comments in June 2010. 277 In February 2016, Facebook expanded like into reactions choosing among five predefined emotions including love ha ha while wow, sad or angry dot 278 279 280 281 in late april 2020 during the covid 19 pandemic a new care reaction was added dot 282 instant messaging main article facebook messenger facebook messenger is an instant messaging service and software application it began its Facebook chat in 2008, 283 was revamped in 2010, 284 and eventually became a standalone mobile app in August 2011, while remaining part of the user page shown browsers. 285 complementing regular conversations. Messenger lets users make 1 to 1, 286 and group 287 voice 288 and video calls. 289 its Android app has integrated support. For SMS 290 and chat heads which are round profile photo icons appearing on screen regardless of what app is open 291 while both as support multiple accounts 292 conversations with optional end-to-end -end encryption 293 and instant games. 294 some features including sending money 295 and requesting transportation 296 are limited to the United States. 295 in 2017 Facebook added Messenger Day a feature that lets users share photos and videos in a story format with all their friends with the content disappearing after 24 hours 297 reactions, which lets users tap and hold a message to add the reaction through an emoji 298 and mentions, which lets users in group conversations. Type it to give a particular user the notification. 298 businesses and users can interact through Messenger with features such as tracking purchases and receiving notifications, and interacting with customer service representatives. Third party developers can integrate apps into Messenger, letting users enter an app while inside Messenger and optionally share details from the app into a chat. 299 developers can build chatbots into Messenger. For uses such as news publishers building bots to distribute news. 300 The M Virtual Assistant US scans chats for keywords and suggests relevant actions, such as its payments system for users mentioning money. 301 300 To group chat bots appear in Messenger as chat extensions. A Discovery tab allows finding bots and enabling special branded QR codes that, when scanned, Take the user to a specific Bob.303 Privacy Policy See also Privacy Facebook's data policy outlines its policies for collecting, storing, and sharing users' data.300 for Facebook enables users to control access to individual posts and their profile 305 through privacy settings.306 The user's name and profile picture if applicable are public. Facebook's revenue depends on targeted advertising which involves analyzing user data to decide which ads to show each user. Facebook buys data from third parties, gathered from both online and offline sources, to supplement its own data on users. Facebook maintains that it does not share data used for targeted advertising with the advertisers themselves. 307 The company states, We provide advertisers with reports about the kinds of people seeing their ads and how their ads are performing. But we don't share information that personally identifies you information such as your name or email address that by itself can be used to contact you or identify who you are unless you give us permission. For example, we provide general demographic and interest information to advertisers for example, that the Navy was seen by a woman between the ages of 25 and 34 who lives in Madrid and likes software engineering to help them better understand their audience. We also confirm which Facebook ads led you to make a purchase or take an action with an advertiser.300 for as of October 2021, Facebook claims it uses the following policy for sharing user data with third parties, apps, websites, and third-party integrations on for using our products. When you choose to use third-party apps, websites, or other services that use or are integrated with our products, they can receive information about what you post or share. For example, 
when you play a game with your Facebook friends or use the Facebook comment or share button on a website. The game developer or website can receive information about your activities in the game or receive a comment or link that you share from the website on Facebook. Also, when you download or use such third-party services, they can access your public profile on Facebook and any information that you share with them. Apps and websites you use may receive your list of Facebook friends if you choose to share it with them. But apps and websites you use will not be able to receive any other information about your Facebook friends from you, or information about any of your Instagram followers although your friends and followers may, of course, choose to share this information themselves. Information collected by these third-party services is subject to their own terms and policies, not this one. Devices and operating systems providing native version of Facebook and Instagram i.e. where we have not developed our own first-party apps will have access to all information you choose to share with them, including information your friends share with you, so they can provide our core functionality to you. Note. We are in the process of restricting developers' data access even further to help prevent abuse. For example, we will remove developers' access to your Facebook and Instagram data if you haven't used their APP in three months, and we are changing login, so that in the next version, we will reduce the data that an APP can request without ATP review to include only name, Instagram user name and bio, profile photo and email address. Requesting any other data will require our approval. 300 for Facebook will also share data with law enforcement. 300 for Facebook's policies have changed repeatedly since the service's debut, amid the series of controversies covering everything from how well it secured user data, to what extent it allows users to control access, to the kinds of access given to third parties, including businesses, political campaigns and governments. These facilities vary according to country as some nations require the company to make data available and limit access to services, while the European Union's GDPR regulation mandates additional privacy protection. 308 Bug Bounty Program The Facebook White Hat Debit Card, given to researchers who report security bugs. On July 29, 2011, Facebook announced its Bug Bounty Program that pays security researchers a minimum of $500, $650 in 2022, $18 for reporting security holes. The company promised not to pursue white hat hackers who identified such problems. 309 310 This led researchers in many countries to participate, particularly in India and Russia. 311 Reception user base Facebook's rapid growth began as soon as it became available and continued through 2018, before beginning to decline. Facebook passed 100 million registered users in 2008, 312 and 500 million in July 2010. 66, according to the company's data at the July 2010 announcement, half of the site's membership used Facebook daily, for an average of 34 minutes, while 150 million users accessed the site by mobile. 67 in October 2012, Facebook's Monthly active users passed 1,093,313 with 600 million mobile users, 219 billion photo uploads, and 140 billion friend connections. 94 The 2 billion user mark was crossed in June 2017. 314 315 in November 2015, after skepticism about the accuracy of its monthly active users measurement, Facebook changed its definition to a logged in member who visits the Facebook site through the web browser or mobile app, or uses the Facebook Messenger app, in the 30-day period prior to the measurement. This excluded the use of third-party services with Facebook integration, which was previously counted. 316 from 2017 to 2019, the percentage of the U.S. population over the age of 12 who use Facebook has declined from 67% to 61% the decline of some 15 million U.S. users, with a higher drop-off. Among younger Americans a decrease in the percentage of U.S. 12 to 34-year-olds who are users from 58% in 2015 to 29% in 2019. 317 318 the decline coincided with an increase in the popularity of Instagram which is also owned by Meta. 317 318 The number of daily active users experienced a quarterly decline for the first time in the last quarter of 2021, down to 1.929 billion from 1.930 billion 319 but increased again the next quarter despite being banned in Russia. 320 Historically, 
Commentators have offered predictions of Facebook's decline or end, based on causes such as a declining user base 321 the legal difficulties of being a closed platform, inability to generate revenues, inability to offer user privacy, inability to adapt to mobile platforms, your Facebook ending itself to present to next generation replacement 322 your Facebook's role in Russian interference in the 2016 United States elections. 323 graphs are temporarily unavailable due to technical issues. Facebook popularity. Active users in millions of Facebook increased from just a million in 2004 to 2.8 billion in 2020. 308 population per amid the Facebook users by age as of 2010 update. 324 population per amid the Facebook users by age as of 2010. 324 demographics. The highest number of Facebook users as of October 2018 are from India and the United States, followed by Indonesia. Brazil and Mexico. Citation needed region wise. The highest number of users are from Asia Pacific 947 million, followed by Europe 381 million, and as Canada 242 million. The rest of the world has 750 million users. 325 over the 2008 to 2018 period. The percentage of users under 34 declined to less than half of the total. 308 censorship. Further information. Censorship of Facebook and censorship by Facebook map showing the countries that are either currently blocking or have blocked Facebook. In the past currently blocked formerly blocked in many countries the social networking sites and mobile apps have been blocked temporarily or permanently, including China 326, Iran 327, Vietnam 328, Pakistan 329, Syria 330 and North Korea. In May 2018. The government of Papua New Guinea announced that it would ban Facebook for a month while it considered the impact of the website on the country, though no ban has since occurred. 331 In 2019, Facebook announced it would start enforcing its ban on users, including influencers, promoting any vape, tobacco products, or weapons on its platforms. 330 to criticisms and controversies. Further information. Criticism of Facebook I'm here today because I believe Facebook's products harm children, stoke division, and weaken our democracy. The company leadership knows how to make Facebook and Instagram safer, but won't make the necessary changes because they have put their astronomical profits before people. F.R.A.N.C.E.S. Haugen Condemning lack of transparency around Facebook at a U.S. congressional hearing 2021.333 I don't believe private companies should make all of the decisions on their own. That's why we have advocated for updated Internet regulations for several years now. I have testified in Congress multiple times and asked them to update these regulations. I've written Opus EDS outlining the areas of regulation we think are most important related to elections, harmful content, privacy, and competition. M. A. R. K. Zuckerberg, responding to Francis Haugen's revelations 2021.334 Facebook's importance and scale has led to criticisms in many domains. Issues include internet privacy, excessive retention of user information 335 its facial recognition software, deep face 336 337 its addictive quality 338 and its role in the workplace including employer access to employee accounts. 339 Facebook has been criticized for electricity usage 340 tax avoidance 341 real name user requirement policies 342 censorship 343 344 and its involvement in the United States. Prison surveillance program. 345 according to the Express Tribune Facebook avoided billions of dollars in tax using offshore companies. 346 Facebook is alleged to have harmful psychological effects on its users, including feelings of jealousy 347, 348 and stress 349, 350 a lack of attention 351 and social media addiction. 350 to 353 according to Kaufman et al. Mothers' motivations for using social media are often related to their social and mental health. 350 for European antitrust regulator Margrethe Vestager stated that Facebook's terms of service relating to private data were unbalanced. 355 Facebook has been criticized for allowing users to publish illegal or offensive material.
Specifics include copyright and intellectual property infringement 356 hate speech 357 358 incitement of rape 359 and terrorism 360 361 fake news 362 363 364 and crimes, murders, and libel streaming violent incidents. 365, 366, 367 commentators have accused Facebook of willingly facilitating the spread of such content. 368, 369, 370, 371, 372, 373 excessive citations. Sri Lanka blocked both Facebook and WhatsApp in May 2019 after anti-Muslim riots. The worst. In the country since the Easter Sunday bombing in the same year as a temporary measure to maintain peace in Sri Lanka. 374 375 Facebook removed 3 billion fake accounts only during the last quarter of 2018 and the first quarter of 2019. 376 In comparison, the social network reports 2.39 billion monthly active users. 376 In late July 2019. The company announced it was under antitrust investigation by the Federal Trade Commission. 377 The Consumer Advocacy Group, which claims that individuals are still utilizing Facebook to set up fraudulent five star ratings for various products. The group has identified 14 communities that exchange reviews for either money or complimentary items such as watches, earbuds, and sprinklers. 378 Privacy Further Information Privacy Concerns with Facebook See also Privacy concerns with social networking services Facebook Facebook has faced a steady stream of controversies over how it handles user privacy, repeatedly adjusting its privacy settings and policies. 379 Since 2009, Facebook has been participating in the Prison Secret Program, sharing with the U.S. National Security Agency audio, video, photographs, emails, documents and connection logs from user profiles. Among other social media services. 380 381 On November 29, 2011, Facebook settled Federal Trade Commission charges that it received consumers by failing to keep privacy promises. 382 In August 2013, High Tech Bridge published a study showing that links included in Facebook messaging service messages were being accessed by Facebook. 383 In January 2014, two users filed a lawsuit against Facebook alleging that their privacy had been violated by this practice. 384 On June 7, 2018, Facebook announced that a bug had resulted in about 14 million Facebook users having their default sharing setting for all new posts set to public. 385 On April 4, 2019, half a billion records of Facebook users were found exposed on Amazon cloud servers, containing information about users' friends, likes, groups, and checked in locations, as well as names passwords and email addresses. 386 The phone numbers of at least 200 million Facebook users were found to be exposed on an open online database since September 2019. They included 133 million U.S. users, 18 million from the U.K., and 50 million from users in Vietnam. After removing duplicates, the 419 million records have been reduced to 219 million the database went offline after TechCrunch contacted the web host. It is thought the records were amassed using the tool that Facebook disabled in April 2018 after the Cambridge Analytica controversy. The Facebook spokeswoman said in a statement, The data set is old and appears to have information obtained before we made changes last year. There is no evidence that Facebook accounts were compromised. 387 Facebook's privacy problems resulted in companies like Viber Media and Mozilla discontinuing advertising on Facebook's platforms. 388 389 Racial Bias Facebook was accused of committing systemic racial bias by EOC based on the complaints of three rejected candidates and current employees of the company. The three rejected employees along with the operational manager at Facebook as of March 2021 they accused the firm of discriminating against black people. The EEOC has initiated an investigation into the case. 390 Shadow Profiles A shadow profile refers to the data Facebook collects about individuals without their explicit permission. For example, the like button that appears on third-party websites allows a company to collect information about an individual's internet browsing habits. Even if the individual is not a Facebook user. 391 392 data can also be collected by other users. For example, 
The Facebook user can link their email account to their Facebook to find friends on the site, allowing the company to collect the email addresses of users and non-users alike. 393 over time, countless data points about an individual are collected. Any single data point perhaps cannot identify an individual, but together allows the company to form unique profiles. This practice has been criticized by those who believe people should be able to opt out of involuntary data collection. Additionally, while Facebook users have the ability to download and inspect the data they provide to the site, data from the user's shadow profile is not included, and non-users of Facebook do not have access to this tool regardless. The company has also been unclear whether or not it is possible for a person to revoke Facebook's access to their shadow profile. 391 Cambridge Analytica Further Information Facebook Cambridge Analytica Data Scandal Facebook Customer Global Science Research sold information on over 87 million Facebook users to Cambridge Analytica, a political data analysis firm led by Alexander Nix. 394 While approximately 270,000 people use the APT. Facebook's API permitted data collection from their friends without their knowledge. 395 At first, Facebook downplayed the significance of the breach and suggested that Cambridge Analytica no longer had access. Facebook then issued a statement expressing alarm and suspended Cambridge Analytica. Review of documents and interviews with former Facebook employees suggested that Cambridge Analytica still possessed the data. 396 This was a violation of Facebook's consent decree with the Federal Trade Commission. This violation potentially carried a penalty of $40,000 $46,615 in 2022 18 per occurrence, totaling trillions of dollars. 397 According to The Guardian, both Facebook and Cambridge Analytica threatened to sue the newspaper if it published the story. After publication, Facebook claimed that it had been lied to. On March 23, 2018, the English High Court granted an application by the Information Commissioner's Office for a warrant to search Cambridge Analytica's London offices, ending the standoff between Facebook and the Information Commissioner over responsibility. 398 on March 25. Facebook published a statement by Zuckerberg in major UK and US newspapers apologizing over a breach of trust. 399 You may have heard about a quick APP built by a university researcher that leaked Facebook data of millions of people in 2014. This was a breach of trust, and I'm sorry we didn't do more at the time. We're now taking steps to make sure this doesn't happen again. We've already stopped apps like this from getting so much information. Now we're limiting the data apps get when you sign in using Facebook. We're also investigating every single APP that had access to large amounts of data before we fix this. We expect there are others. And when we find them, we will ban them and tell everyone affected. Finally, we'll remind you which apps you've given access to your information, so you can shut off the ones you don't want anymore. Thank you for believing in this community. I promise to do better for you. On March 26, the Federal Trade Commission opened an investigation into the matter. 400 The controversy led Facebook to end its partnerships with data brokers who aid advertisers in targeting users. 379 On April 24, 2019, Facebook said it could face a fine between $3 billion, $3.43 billion in 2022, $18.25 billion, $5.72 billion in 2022 dollars 18 as a result of an investigation by the Federal Trade Commission. The agency has been investigating Facebook for possible privacy violations, but has not announced any findings yet. 401 Facebook also implemented additional privacy controls and settings 400 to in part to comply with the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation GDPR which took effect in May. 403 Facebook also ended its active opposition to the California Consumer Privacy Act. 404 Some, such as Megan McCain, have drawn an equivalence between the use of data by Cambridge Analytica and the Barack Obama 2012 campaign, which, according to Investors Business Daily, encouraged supporters to download an Obama 2012 Facebook APP that, when activated, let the campaign collect Facebook data both on users and their friends. 405 406 407 Carol David sent. The Obama for America OFA former director of integration and media analytics wrote that Facebook was surprised we were able to suck out the whole social graph, but they didn't stop us once they realized that was what we were.
doing DAW 406 407 Politifact fact has rated McCain's statements half true on the basis that in Obama's case, direct users knew they were handing over their data to a political campaign whereas with Cambridge Analytica, users thought they were only taking a personality quiz for academic purposes, and while the Obama campaign only used the data to have their supporters contact their most persuadable friends Cambridge Analytica targeted users, friends and look alike directly with digital ads. 408 breaches on September 28, 2018, Facebook experienced a major breach in its security, exposing the data of 50 million users. The data breach started in July 2017 and was discovered on September 16. 409 Facebook notified users affected by the exploit and logged them out of their accounts. 410 411 in March 2019, Facebook confirmed a password compromise of millions of Facebook Lite application users also affected millions of Instagram users. The reason cited was the storage of password as plain text instead of encryption which could be read by its employees. 412 on December 19, 2019, security researcher Bob Diachenko discovered a database containing more than 267 million Facebook user IDs, phone numbers, and names that were left exposed on the web. For anyone to access without a password or any other authentication. 413 in February 2020. Facebook encountered a major security breach in which its official Twitter account was hacked by a Saudi Arabia-based group called Arman. The group has a history of actively exposing high-profile social media profiles vulnerabilities. 414 in April 2021, The Guardian reported approximately half a billion users' data had been stolen including birth dates and phone numbers. Facebook alleged it was old data from a problem fixed in August 2019 despite the data having been released a year and a half later only in 2021, it declined to speak with journalists, had apparently not notified regulators, called the problem unfixable and said it would not be advising users. 415 Phone data and activity Facebook acquired on Evo virtual private network to harvest usage data on its competitors. After acquiring on Evo in 2013, Facebook used its Onevo Protect Virtual Private Network VPN APT to collect information on users' web traffic and APT usage. This allowed Facebook to monitor its competitors' performance, and motivated Facebook to acquire WhatsApp in 2014. 416, 417, 408 in media outlets classified Onevo Protect as spyware. 419, 420, 421 in August 2018. Facebook removed the APT in response to pressure from Apple, who asserted that it violated their guidelines. 422 423 The Australian Competition and Consumer Commission sued Facebook on December 16, 2020, for false, misleading, or deceptive conduct in response to the company's use of personal data obtained from Onevo for business purposes in contrast to Onevo's privacy oriented marketing. 424 425 In 2016, Facebook Research launched Project Atlas, offering some users between the ages of 13 and 35 up to $20 per month $24 in 2022-18 in exchange for their personal data, including their APP usage, web browsing history, web search history, location history, personal messages, photos, videos, emails and Amazon order history. 426 427 in January 2019. TechCrunch reported on the project. This led Apple to temporarily revoke Facebook's Enterprise Developer Program certificates for one day, preventing Facebook research from operating on iOS devices and disabling Facebook's internal iOS apps. 427, 428, 429 Ars Technica reported in April 2018 that the Facebook Android app had been harvesting user data, including phone calls and text messages, since 2015. 430 431 432 In May 2018, several Android users filed a class action lawsuit against Facebook for invading their privacy. 433 434 In January 2020, Facebook launched the Off Facebook Activity page, which allows users to see information collected by Facebook about their non Facebook activities. 435 The Washington Post columnist Jeffrey A. Fowler found that this included what other apps he used on his phone, even while the Facebook app was closed, what other websites he visited on his phone, and what in-store purchases he made from affiliated businesses.
even while his phone was completely off. 436 In November 2021, the report was published by Fairly. Global Action Plan and Reset Australia detailing accusations that Facebook was continuing to manage their AD targeting system with data collected from teen users. 437 The accusations followed announcements by Facebook in July 2021 that they would cease AD targeting children. 438 439 Public apologies The company first apologized for its privacy abuses in 2009.440 Facebook apologies have appeared in newspapers, television, blog posts and on Facebook. 441 on March 25, 2018, leading US and UK newspapers published full-page ads with a personal apology from Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg issued a verbal apology on CNN. 442 in May 2010. He apologized for discrepancies in privacy settings. 441 previously, Facebook had its privacy settings spread out over 20 pages and has now put all of its privacy settings on one page which makes it more difficult for third-party apps to access the user's personal information. 379 In addition to publicly apologizing, Facebook has said that it will be reviewing and auditing thousands of apps that display suspicious activities in an effort to ensure that this breach of privacy does not happen again. 443 In a 2010 report regarding privacy, the research project stated, that not a lot of information is available regarding the consequences of what people disclose online so often what is available are just reports made available through popular media. 444 in 2017, the former Facebook executive went on the record to discuss how social media platforms have contributed to the unraveling of the fabric of society. 445 content disputes and moderation further information, Facebook content management controversy see also Facebook Content Oversight Board Facebook relies on its users to generate the content that bonds its users to the service. The company has come under criticism both for allowing objectionable content, including conspiracy theories and fringe discourse 446 and for prohibiting other content that it deems inappropriate. Misinformation and fake news Facebook has been criticized as a vector for fake news and has been accused of bearing responsibility for the conspiracy theory that the United States created ISIS. 447 false and Iraqi posts being used by Myanmar's military to fuel genocide and ethnic cleansing. 448 449 enabling climate change denial. 450 451 452 and Sandy Hook Elementary School Shooting Conspiracy Theorists 453 and Anti-Refugee Attacks in Germany. 450 for 455 456 The government of the Philippines has also used Facebook as a tool to attack its critics. 457 In 2017, Facebook partnered with Fact Checkers from the Pointer Institute's International Fact Checking Network to identify and mark false content, though most Ads from political candidates are exempt from this program. 458 459 As of 2018, Facebook had over 40 fact checking partners across the world, including the Weekly Standard. 460 Critics of the program have accused Facebook of not doing enough to remove false information from its website. 460 461 Facebook has repeatedly amended its content policies. In July 2018, it stated that it would downrank articles that its fact checkers determined to be false, and remove misinformation that incited violence. 460 to Facebook stated that content that receives false ratings from its fact checkers can be demonetized and suffer dramatically reduced distribution. Specific posts and videos that violate community standards can be removed on Facebook. 463 in May 2019, Facebook banned a number of dangerous commentators from its platform including Alex Jones, Louis Farrakhan, Milo Yiannopoulos, Paul Joseph Watson, Paul Mellon, David Duke, and Laura Loomer, for allegedly engaging in violence and hate. 464 465 In May 2020, Facebook agreed to a preliminary settlement of $52 million, $58.8 million in 2022 dollars 18 to compensate U.S. based Facebook content moderators for their psychological trauma suffered on the job. 466 467 other legal actions around the world, including in Ireland, await settlement. 468 in September 2020, the government of Thailand utilized the computer.
Crime Act for the first time to take action against Facebook and Twitter for ignoring requests to take down content and not complying with court orders. 469 threats An incitement professor Ilya Soman reported that he had been the subject of death threats on Facebook in April 2018 from Caesar Sayer, who threatened to kill Soman and his family and feed the bodies to Florida alligators. Soman's Facebook friends reported the comments to Facebook which did nothing except dispatch automated messages. 470 Sayer was later arrested for the October 2018 United States mail bombing attempts directed at Democratic politicians. Terrorism Force v. Facebook, Inc. 934F.3D53 Second CIR. 2019 was a case that alleged Facebook was profiting off recommendations for Hamas. In 2019 the U.S. Second Circuit Appeals Court held that Section 230 bars civil terrorism claims against social media companies and Internet service providers, the first federal appellate court to do so. Hate speech In October 2020, Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan urged Mark Zuckerberg, through a letter posted on government's Twitter account, to ban Islamophobic content on Facebook warning that it encouraged extremism and violence. 471 in October 2020, the company announced that it would ban Holocaust denial. 472 in October 2022, Media Matters for America published a report that Facebook and Instagram were still profiting off advertisements using the slurp rumor for LGBT people. 473 The article reported that Meta had previously confirmed that the use of this word for the LGBT community violates its hate speech policies. 473 The story was subsequently picked up by other news outlets such as the New York Daily News, Pink News, and LGBTQ Nation. 474 475 476 Violent Erotica There are ads on Facebook and Instagram containing sexually explicit content, descriptions of graphic violence and content promoting acts of self-harm. Many of the ads are for web novel apps backed by tech giants by Dance and Tencent. 477 InfoWars Facebook was criticized for allowing InfoWars to publish falsehoods and conspiracy theories. 463 478 479 480 481 Facebook defended its actions in regards to InfoWars, saying we just don't think panning pages for sharing conspiracy theories or false news is the right way to go. 479 Facebook provided only six cases in which it fact-checked content on the InfoWars page over the period September 2017 to July 2018. 463 in 2018 InfoWars falsely claimed that the survivors of the Parkland shooting were actors. Facebook pledged to remove InfoWars content making the claim, although InfoWars videos pushing the false claims were left to even though Facebook had been contacted about the video. 463 Facebook stated that the videos never explicitly called them actors. 463 Facebook also allowed InfoWars video that shared the Pizzagate conspiracy theory to survive, despite specific assertions that it would purge Pizzagate content. 463 In late July 2018, Facebook suspended the personal profile of InfoWars head Alex Jones for 30 days. 482 In early August, 2018, Facebook banned the for most active InfoWars related pages for hate speech. 483 Political manipulation see also state sponsored internet propaganda graffiti in Berlin. The Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. The caption is a reference to George Orwell's novel 1984. As a dominant social web service with massive outreach, Facebook have been used by identified or unidentified political operatives to affect public opinion. Some of these activities have been done in violation of the platform policies, creating coordinated and authentic behavior support or attacks. These activities can be scripted or paid. Various such abusive campaigns have been revealed in recent years, best known being the Russian interference in the 2016 United States elections. In 2021, former Facebook analyst within the scam and fake engagement teams, Sophie Zhang, reported more than 25 political subversion operations and criticized the general slow reaction time, oversightless, laissez-faire attitude by Facebook. 480 for 485 486 influence operations and coordinated inauthentic behavior in 2018, Facebook stated that during 2018 they had identified coordinated inauthentic behavior in many pages, groups and accounts created to stir up political debate, including in the U.S., the Middle East, 
Russia and the UK. 487 campaigns operated by the British Intelligence Agency Unit, called Joint Threat Research Intelligence Group, have broadly fallen into two categories cyber attacks and propaganda efforts. The propaganda efforts utilize mass messaging and the pushing of stories via social media sites like Facebook. 488 489 Israel's Jewish Internet Defense Force. China's 50 Cent Party and Turkey's collapse controls also focus their attention on social media platforms like Facebook. 490 491 492 493 in July 2018. Samantha Bradshaw, co author of the report from the Oxford Internet Institute OII at Oxford University, said that the number of countries where formally organized social media manipulation occurs has greatly increased, from 28 to 48 countries globally. The majority of growth comes from political parties who spread disinformation and junk news around election periods. 494 in October 2018, the Daily Telegraph reported that Facebook banned hundreds of pages and accounts that it says were fraudulently flooding its site with partisan political content, although they came from the United States instead of being associated with Russia. 495 in December 2018. The Washington Post reported that Facebook has suspended the account of Jonathan Morgan, the chief executive of a top social media research firm New Knowledge, after reports that he and others engaged in an operation to spread disinformation on Facebook and Twitter during the 2017 United States Senate special election in Alabama. 496 497 in January 2019, Facebook said it has removed 783 Iran linked accounts pages and groups for engaging in what it called coordinated and authentic behavior. 498 in May 2019, telephone office based private intelligence agency R committee's group was banned from Facebook for coordinated and authentic behavior after Facebook found fake users in countries in sub-Saharan Africa, lab in America and Southeast Asia. 499 Facebook investigations revealed that our committees had spent some $1.1 million $1.26 million in 2022 dollars 18 on fake ads, paid for in Brazilian race, Israeli shekels and US dollars. 500 Facebook gave examples of our committees. Group political interference in Nigeria, Senegal. Togo, Angola, Niger and Tunisia. 501 The Atlantic Council's Digital Forensic Research Lab said in a report that the tactics employed by our committee's group, a private company, closely resemble the types of information warfare tactics often used by governments, and the Kremlin in particular. 502-503 on May 23, 2019. Facebook released its Community Standards Enforcement Report highlighting that it has identified several fake accounts through artificial intelligence and human monitoring. In a period of six months, October, March 2018-2019, the social media website removed a total of 3.39 billion fake accounts. The number of fake accounts was reported to be more than 2.4 billion real people on the platform. 504 in July 2019. Facebook advanced its measures to counter deceptive political propaganda and other abuse of its services. The company removed more than 1,800 accounts and pages that were being operated from Russia, Thailand, Ukraine and Honduras. 505 After Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, it was announced that the Internet Regulatory Committee would block access to Facebook. 506 On October 30, 2019, Facebook deleted several accounts of the employees working at the Israeli NSO group, stating that the accounts were deleted for not following our terms. The deletions came after WhatsApp sued the Israeli surveillance firm for targeting 1,400 devices with spyware. 507 in 2020, Facebook helped found American Edge, an anti-regulation lobbying firm to fight antitrust probes. 508 The Thailand government is forcing Facebook to take down a Facebook group called Royalist Marketplace with 1 million members. Following the potentially illegal posts shared, the authorities have also threatened Facebook with legal action. In response, Facebook is planning to take legal action against the Thai government for suppression of freedom of expression and violation of human rights. 509 in February 2021, Facebook removed the main page of the Myanmar military after two protesters were shot and killed during the anti coup protests. Facebook said that the page breached its guidelines that prohibit the incitement of violence. 510 on February 25, Facebook announced to ban all accounts of the Myanmar military, along with the Tatma dog linked commercial entities. 
citing the exceptionally severe human rights abuses and the clear risk of future military-initiated violence in Myanmar. The tech giant also implemented the move on its subsidiary, Instagram.511 in March 2021. The Wall Street Journal's editorial board criticized Facebook's decision to fact-check its oath as said titled We'll Have Herd Immunity by April written by Surgeon Marty Mockery, calling it counter-opinion masquerading as fact-checking. 512 Facebook guidelines allow users to call for the death of public figures. They also allow praise of mass killers and violent non-state actors in some situations. 513-514 in 2021, former Facebook analyst within the scam and fake engagement. Teams, Sophie Zhang, reported on more than 25 political subversion operations she uncovered while in Facebook, and the general essay fair by the private enterprise. 480 for 485 486 in 2021, Facebook was cited as playing a role in the fomenting of the 2021 United States Capitol attack. 515 516 Russian interference, see also Internet Research Agency and Russian interference in the 2016 United States elections in 2018, Special Counsel Robert Mueller indicted 13 Russian nationals and three Russian organizations for engaging in operations to interfere with U.S. political and electoral processes, including the 2016 presidential election. 517 518 519 Mueller contacted Facebook subsequently to the company's disclosure that it had sold more than $100,000 $121,936 in 2022 dollars 18 worth of ads to a company internet research agency, owned by Russian billionaire and businessman Yevgeny E. Prygotin with links to the Russian intelligence community before the 2016 United States presidential election. 520 521 in September 2017, Facebook's chief security officer Alex Stamos wrote, the company found approximately $100,000 in 80 spending from June 2015 to May 2017, associated with roughly 3,000 ads, that was connected to about 470 inauthentic accounts and pages in violation of our policies. Our analysis suggests these accounts and pages were affiliated with one another and likely operated out of Russia. 522 Clinton and Trump campaign spent $81 million, $98.8 million in 2022 dollars 18 on Facebook ads. 523 The company pledged full cooperation in Mueller's investigation and provided all information about the Russian advertisements. 524 members of the House and Senate intelligence committees have claimed the Facebook had withheld information that could illuminate the Russian propaganda campaign. 525 Russian operatives have used Facebook polarized the American public discourses, organizing both Black Lives Matter rallies 526, 527, and anti immigrant rallies on U.S. soil 528, as well as anti Clinton rallies 529 and rallies both for and against Donald Trump. 535 131 Facebook ads have also been used to exploit divisions over black political activism and Muslims by simultaneously sending contrary messages to different users based on their political and demographic characteristics in order to sow discord. 532 533 534 Zuckerberg has stated that he regrets having dismissed concerns over Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. 535 Russian-American billionaire Yuri Milner, who befriended Zuckerberg 536 between 2009 and 2011 had Kremlin backing for his investments in Facebook and Twitter. 60 in January 2019, Facebook removed 289 pages and 75 coordinated accounts linked to the Russian state-owned news agency Sputnik which had misrepresented themselves as independent news or general interest pages. 537 538 Facebook later identified and removed an additional 1,907 accounts linked to Russia found to be engaging in coordinated inauthentic behavior. 539 in 2018, the UK Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport DCM Select Committee report had criticized Facebook for its reluctance to investigate abuse of its platform by the Russian government and for downplaying the extent of the problem, referring to the company as digital gangsters. 545 141 542 Democracy is at risk from the malicious and relentless targeting of citizens with disinformation and personalized dark adverts from unidentifiable sources, delivered through the major social media platforms we use every day. Amen Collins, DCM's committee chair 542 in February 2019, 
Glenn Greenwald wrote that a cybersecurity company knew knowledge, which is behind one of the Senate's reports on Russian social media. The election interference was caught just six weeks ago engaging in a massive scam to create fictitious Russian troll accounts on Facebook and Twitter in order to claim that the Kremlin was working to defeat Democratic Senate nominee Doug Jones in Alabama. The New York Times, when exposing the scam, quoted a new knowledge report that boasted of its fabrications. 543-544 anti-Rohingya propaganda see also persecution of Muslims in Myanmar in 2018. Facebook took down 536 Facebook pages, 17 Facebook groups, 175 Facebook accounts, and 16 Instagram accounts linked to the Myanmar military. Collectively these were followed by over 10 million people. 545 The New York Times reported that colon 546 after months of reports about anti-Rohingya propaganda on Facebook, the company acknowledged that it had been too slow to act in Myanmar. By then, more than 700,000 Rohingya had fled the country in a year, in what United Nations officials called a textbook example of ethnic cleansing. Anti-Muslim Propaganda and Hindu Nationalism in India A 2019 book titled The Real Face of Facebook in India, co-authored by the journalists Pat and Joey Guterf, Ackert and Cyril Sam, alleged that Facebook helped enable and benefited from the rise of Nair and Ramodai's Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janata Party BJP in India. 547 Anki Das, Facebook's policy director for India and South and Central Asia, apologized publicly in August 2020 for sharing the Facebook post that called Muslims in India a degenerate community. She said she shared the post to reflect my deep belief in celebrating feminism and civic participation. 548 She is reported to have prevented action by Facebook against anti Muslim content. 549 550 And supported the BJP in internal Facebook messages. 551 552 In 2020, Facebook executives overrode their employees' recommendations that the BJP politician teeth. Raja Singh should be banned from the site for hate speech and rhetoric that could lead to violence. Singh had said on Facebook that Rohingya Muslim immigrants should be shot and had threatened to destroy mosques. Current and former Facebook employees told the Wall Street Journal that the decision was part of a pattern of favoritism by Facebook toward the BJP as it seeks more business in India. 550 Facebook also took no action after BJP politicians made posts accusing Muslims of intentionally spreading COVID-19. An employee said. 553 On August 31, 2020, the Delhi Assembly began investigating whether Facebook bore blame for the 2020 religious riots in the city, claiming it had found Facebook prima facie guilty of a role in the violence. 554 555 On September 12, 2020, the Delhi Assembly Committee said in a statement that it had asked Facebook India head Ajit Mohan to appear before it on September 15 leading to Facebook objecting and moving the Supreme Court of India against the decision. 556 557 On September 15, Facebook skipped the Delhi Assembly panel hearing. 558 On September 20, the Delhi Assembly panel issued a new notice asking Facebook to appear before it on September 23. 559 On September 22, Facebook India Vice President and Managing Director Ajit Mohan moved the Supreme Court against the summons of the Delhi Assembly Committee. 560 On September 23, the Supreme Court granted him relief and ordered the stay to the summons, with the central government later backing the decision. 561 562 563 The former Facebook employee told the Delhi Assembly panel on November 13 that the violence could have been easily diverted if the social media giant had acted in a proactive and prompt manner. 564 On December 3, the Delhi Assembly moved the Supreme Court for intervention in the case. 565 On February 4, 2021, the Delhi Assembly panel issued a fresh notice to Facebook India to testify on the riots, avoiding specific notice to moment, by asking the senior responsible officer from the company to appear before the panel. 566 The union government submitted in the Supreme Court that Facebook could not be made accountable before any state assembly and the committee forms was unconstitutional. 567 568 On February 24, Moton challenged summons issued by the Delhi Assembly for failing to appear before it as a witness in connection with the 2020 riots in the Supreme Court, saying that the right to silence is 
the virtue in present noisy times and the legislature had no authority to examine him in the law and order case. The Supreme Court reserved its judgment for the case. 569 on July 8, the Supreme Court refused to quash the summons and as Facebook asked to appear before the Delhi Assembly panel. 570 company governance early Facebook investor and former Zuckerberg mentor Roger McNamee described Facebook as having the most centralized decision making structure I have ever encountered in a large company. 571 Nathan Schneider a professor of media studies at the University of Colorado Boulder argued for transforming Facebook into a platform cooperative owned and governed by the users. 570 to Facebook co-founder Chris Hughes states that CEO Mark Zuckerberg has too much power, that the company is now a monopoly, and that, as a result, it should be split into multiple smaller companies. Hughes called for the breakup of Facebook in an op-ed on the New York Times. Hughes says he's concerned that Zuckerberg has surrounded himself with a team that does not challenge him and that as a result, it's the U.S. government's job to hold him accountable and curb his unchecked power. 573 Hughes also said that Mark's power is unprecedented and un-American. 574 Several U.S. politicians agreed. With Hughes. 575 EU Commissioner for Competition Margrethe Vestager has stated that splitting Facebook should only be done as a remedy of the very last resort and that splitting Facebook would not solve Facebook's underlying problems. 576 Litigation Further Information Lawsuits involving meta platforms The company has been subject to repeated litigation. 577 578 579 580 its most prominent case addressed allegations that Zuckerberg broke an oral contract with Cameron Winklevoss, Tyler Winklevoss, and Devia Narendra to build the then-named Harvard Connection Social Network in 2004. 581, 582, 583 on March 6, 2018. BlackBerry sued Facebook and its Instagram and WhatsApp subdivision for ripping off key features of its messaging app. 584 in October 2018. A Texan woman sued Facebook, claiming she had been recruited into the sex trade at the age of 15 by a man who friended her on the social media network. Facebook responded that it works both internally and externally to ban sex traffickers. 585-586 In 2019, British solicitors representing the bullied Syrian schoolboy sued Facebook over false claims. They claimed the Facebook protected prominent figures from scrutiny instead of removing content that violates its rules and that the special treatment was financially driven. 587 588 The Federal Trade Commission and Coalition of New York State and 47 other state and regional governments filed separate suits against Facebook on December 9, 2020, seeking antitrust action based on its acquisitions of Instagram and WhatsApp among other companies, calling these practices as anti-competitive. The suits also assert that in acquiring these products, they weakened their privacy measures for their users. The suits, besides other fines, seek to unwind the acquisitions from Facebook. 589 590 on January 6, 2022. France's data privacy regulatory buddy Sian Idol fined Facebook a 60 million euro for not allowing its internet users an easy refusal of cookies along with Google. 591 on December 22, 2022. The Quebec Court of Appeal approved a class action lawsuit on behalf of Facebook users who claimed they were discriminated against because the platform allows advertisers to target both job and housing advertisements based on various factors, including age, gender, and even race. 592 The lawsuit centers on the platform's practice of micro targeting ads, claiming ads are ensured to appear only in the feeds of people who belong to certain targeted groups. Women for example, would not see ads targeting men, while older generation men wouldn't see an AD aimed at people between 1845.592 The class action could include thousands of Quebec residents who have been using the platform as early as April 2016, who were seeking jobs or housing during that period. 590 to Facebook has 60 days after the court's December 22nd ruling to decide to appeal the case to the Supreme Court of Canada. If it doesn't appeal, the case returns to the Quebec Superior Court. 592 minors exposed to sexual content on VRS in February 2022. The BBC News researcher posing as a 13 year old girl witnessed grooming, sexual material, racist insults, and a rape threat on the VRCAT AP peer.
the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children Head of Online Child Safety Policy Andy Burroughs added the investigation had found a toxic combination of risks. The BBC researcher downloaded VR Cat from an ATP store on Facebook's MetaQuest headset, with no gauge verification checks, the only requirement being a Facebook account. The BBC News researcher created a fake profile to set up her account, and her real identity was not checked. 593 594 While Oculus has a form where users can report abuse, the Center for Countering Digital Hate claims Meta rarely takes them seriously, reporting 100 policy violations on Oculus. They did not receive the response. Imran Ahmed, the charity's chief executive, branded it a cesspit of hate. Pornography and child grooming. 595 596 impact Facebook on the 80 Tech 2010 scope. A commentator in the Washington Post noted that Facebook constitutes a massive depository of information that documents both our reactions to events and our evolving customs with a scope and immediacy of which earlier historians could only dream. 597 especially for anthropologists, social researchers, and social historians and subjects to proper preservation and curation the website will preserve images of our lives that are vastly crisper and more nuanced than any ancestry record in existence. 597 Economy Economists have noted that Facebook offers many non-rivalrous services that benefit as many users as are interested without forcing users to compete with each other. By contrast, most goods are available to a limited number of users. E.g., if one user buys a phone, no other user can buy that phone. Three areas add the most economic impact, platform competition, the marketplace and user behavior data. 598 Facebook began to reduce its carbon impact after Greenpeace attacked it for its long-term reliance on coal and resulting carbon footprint. 599 In 2021 Facebook announced that their global operations are supported by 100% renewable energy and they have reached net zero emissions. A goal set in 2018. 600 601 Facebook provides a development platform for many social gaming, communication, feedback, review, and other applications related to online activities. This platform spawned many businesses and added thousands of jobs to the global economy. Singly Incorporated, the leader in social gaming, is an example of such a business. An econometric analysis found that Facebook's ATP development platform added more than 182,000 jobs in the U.S. economy in 2011. The total economic value of the added employment was about $12 billion, $15.6 billion in 2022. $18.600 Society see also Social Networking Service Social Impact, Social Impact of the Internet Social Networking and Entertainment and social capital Facebook was one of the first large-scale social networks. In the Facebook effect, David Kirkpatrick stated the Facebook structure makes it difficult to replace, because of its network effects. Neutrality is disputed as of 2016, it is estimated that 44% of the U.S. population gets news through Facebook. 603 Mental and Emotional Health See also Social Media and Suicide Studies have associated social networks with positive 600 for and negative impacts 605 606 607 608 609 on emotional health. Studies have associated Facebook with feelings of envy, often triggered by vacation and holiday photos. Other triggers include posts by friends about family happiness and images of physical beauty such feelings leave people dissatisfied with their own lives. A joint study by two German universities discovered that one out of three people were more dissatisfied with their lives after visiting Facebook 610-611 and another study by Utah Valley University found that college students felt worse about themselves following an increase in time on Facebook. 611, 612, 613 Professor Larry D. Rosen stated that teenagers on Facebook exhibit more narcissistic tendencies, while young adults show signs of antisocial behavior. Mania and aggressiveness. Positive effects include signs of virtual empathy with online friends and helping introverted persons learn social skills. 614 A 2020 experimental study in the American Economic Review found that deactivating Facebook led to increased subjective well being. 615 In a blog post in December 2017, the company highlighted research that has shown passively consuming the news feed, as in reading but not interacting, left users with negative feelings. 
whereas interacting with messages pointed to improvements in well-being. 616 Politics for broader coverage of this topic. See Social Media in Politics. Further information. Social media and political communication in the United States and social media in the 2016 U.S. presidential campaign. See also what sad hoaxes and fake news in February 2008. The Facebook group called One Million Voices Against Spark organized an event in which hundreds of thousands of Colombians marched in protest against the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia. Spark. 617 in August 2010. One of North Korea's official government websites and the country's official news agency. Kirin and Zakari joined Facebook. 618 A man during the 2011 Egyptian protests carrying a card saying Facebook number sign January 25, the Egyptian social network during the Arab Spring. Many journalists claimed that Facebook played a major role in the 2011 Egyptian Revolution. 619 620 On January 14, the Facebook page of We Are All Haled said was started by Walmonium to invite the Egyptian people to peaceful demonstrations on January 25. According to Mashable Unreliable Source, in Tunisia and Egypt, Facebook became the primary tool for connecting protesters and led the Egyptian government to ban Facebook, Twitter and other websites on January 26, 621 then ban all mobile and internet connections for all of Egypt on January 28. After 18 days, the uprising forced President Hosni Mubarak to resign. In a Bahraini uprising that started on February 14, 2011, Facebook was utilized by the Bahraini regime and regime loyalists to identify, capture and prosecute citizens involved in the protests. A 20-year-old woman named Anya Balkanizi was identified as a protester using Facebook and imprisoned. 622 in 2011. Facebook filed paperwork with the Federal Election Commission to form a political action committee under the name FBTAC.623 in an email to the Hill. A spokesman for Facebook said Facebook political action committee will give our employees a way to make their voice heard in the political process by supporting candidates who share our goals of promoting the value of innovation to our economy while giving people the power to share and make the world more open and connected. 624 during the Syrian civil war. The YPG, a libertarian army for Rahida recruited Westerners through Facebook in its fight against ISIL. 625 dozens joined its ranks. The Facebook page's name The Lions of Rahida comes from a Kurdish saying which translates as a lion is a lion, whether it's a female or a male reflecting the organization's feminist ideology. 626 in recent years. Facebook's news feed algorithms have been identified as a cause of political polarization which it has been criticized. 627 628 It has likewise been accused of amplifying the reach of fake news and extreme viewpoints, as when it may have enabled conditions which led to the 2015 Rohingya refugee crisis. 629 630 Facebook first played a role in the American political process in January 2008, shortly before the New Hampshire primary. Facebook teamed up with ABC and St. and Elm College to allow users to give live feedback about the back-to-back -back January 5th Republican and Democratic debates. 631 630 to 633 Facebook users took part in debate groups on specific topics, voter registration and message questions. 630 for over a million people installed the Facebook application U.S politics on Facebook in order to take part which measured responses to specific comments made by the debating candidates. 635 A poll by CBS News, UWIRC and the Chronicle of Higher Education claimed to illustrate how the Facebook effect had affected youthful voters, increasing voting rates, support of political candidates, and general involvement. 636 The new social media, such as Facebook and Twitter, connected hundreds of millions of people. By 2008, politicians and interest groups were experimenting with systematic use of social media to spread their message. 637 638 By the 2016 election, political advertising to specific groups had become normalized. Facebook offered the most sophisticated targeting and analytics platform. 639 ProPublica noted that their system enabled advertisers to direct their pitches to almost 2,300 people who expressed interest in the topic. So few hater how to burn Jews or history of why Jews ruined the world. 640 Facebook has used several initiatives to encourage its users to register to vote and vote.
An experiment in 2012 involved showing Facebook users pictures of their friends who reported that they had voted. Users who were shown the pictures were about 2% more likely to report that they had also voted compared to the control group, which was not encouraged to vote. 641 in 2020, Facebook announced the goal of helping 4 million voters register in the U.S., saying that it had registered 2.5 million by September. 642 The Cambridge Analytica data scandal offered another example of the perceived attempt to influence elections. 643 644 The Guardian claims that Facebook knew about the security breach for two years, but did nothing to stop it until it became public. 645 Facebook banned political ads to prevent the manipulation of voters in the US November's election. Industry experts suggested clarification needed that there are several other ways for misinformation to reach voters on social media platforms and blocking political ads will not serve as a proven solution to the problem. 646 India ahead of the 2019 general elections in India. Facebook has removed 103 pages, groups and accounts on Facebook and Instagram platforms originating from Pakistan. Facebook said its investigation found a Pakistani military link along with a mix of real accounts of IFPR employees, and a network of fake accounts created by them that have been operating military fan pages, general interest pages but were posting content about Indian politics while trying to conceal their identity. 647 Going to the same reasons, Facebook also removed 687 pages and accounts of Congress because of coordinated inauthentic behavior on the platform. 648 Culture Facebook Parade Float in San Francisco Pride 2014 Facebook and Zuckerberg have been the subject of music, books, film and television. The 2010 film The Social Network, directed by David Fincher and written by Aaron Sorkin, stars Jesse Eisenberg as Zuckerberg and went on to win three Academy Awards and four Golden Globes. In 2008, Collins English Dictionary declared Facebook as its new word of the year. 649 In December 2009, the new Oxford American Dictionary declared its word of the year to be the verb unfriend defined as to remove someone as a friend on a social networking site such as Facebook. 650 Internet.org Main Article Internet.org In August 2013, Facebook founded Internet.org in collaboration with six other technology companies to plan and help build affordable Internet access for underdeveloped and developing countries. 651 The service, called Free Basics, includes various low bandwidth applications such as AccuWeather, Baby Center, BBC News, the FBN, and Bing. 650 to 653 There was severe opposition to Internet.org in India, where the service started in partnership with Reliance Communications in 2015 was banned a year later by the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India TRE. In 2018, Zuckerberg claimed that Internet.org efforts have helped almost 100 million people get access to the Internet who may not have had it otherwise. 652 Environment Facebook announced in 2021 that it will make an effort to stop disinformation about climate change. The company will use George Mason University, Yale Program on Climate Change Communication and the University of Cambridge as sources of information. The company will expand its information hub on climate to 16 countries. Users in other countries will be directed to the site of the United Nations Environment Program for Information. 654 See also Ambient Awareness Corporation Tax in the Republic of Ireland Cyber Stalking Dark Light Flock Double Irish Tax Scheme Facebook Hour 6 Degrees of Separation Social Graph Timeline of Social Media References